Usually when you have lots of institutions buying a specific stock, it means they are trusting the outlook on the near future or the medium or long-term future of the company. AMC here, it's actually proving and showing week after week, month after month that the business is recovering. And even though people will tell me, AC, these are all fundamentals. Yes, they are. But in some way, we tend to forget something really special, something really specific to this very uh, um, um, AMC stocks play and the whole short squeeze situation. Because when you look at some of the institutions like Sumitumo Mitsui Trust Holdings, here on Fintel AMC institutional page. Actually, they are holding and disclosing as of what yesterday. This is a new position, all right? $53 million, almost $54 million, holding 1.4 million shares. 1.4 million shares. If I do a quick average, all right, a quick math, the amount of money they put in divided by the amount of shares they're holding, we're sitting at, well, looking at what, an average around 38.06. So 38.06, if I go back to AMC price, today it closed at 36.05, and yesterday it was at what, 36.84. So it's not like they are losing or making a ton of money on this position so far, all right? Now, the thing is, with an institution like this, buying such a humongous amount of shares. People will directly think about, well, lending, lending, and more lending. Why? Because in order for a short seller to short sell a stock, it needs to borrow shares. And it will borrow shares from people who are actually holding, so people who bought the shares. So yes, it will make sense in a way, but just in a way. It will make sense in a way for the institutions to lend those shares because when you look at the cost to borrow, on AMC, it's sitting between one to two percent. So when you look at the one to two percent, actually, it, I mean, one to two percent, it's not that that much. It's not that big of a a significant amount of money that will, I mean, justify you buying AMC stock just to lend those in order to get one to two percent on that, because there is more upside to actually surf on gains, which will be much more significant, especially knowing exactly what is happening here. And also keep in mind, as I always do, I always say this when it, it comes to the institutions buying EMC, these guys, these companies are billion dollar managing firms and they won't just dump $54 million or whatever amount into a stock like AMC, where the street is actually calling this to be way overvalued at these amounts, at these levels of the share price without having at least dozens of people who made research, technical research. They have, you know, advanced technology, advanced tool to actually look at where the market is going, what is happening. And I mean, these guys are part of the same circle with the same companies short selling AMC, shorting AMC. So I always believe that behind the scenes in the billionaire world, they all have the same information. So what you don't know, what you don't know, you know, is lenders, lenders, can force a share recall because lenders, by lending those shares to the short sellers, all right, to the short, they can decide all of a sudden that, hey, I want my shares back, all right? I'm not counting on your 2% or 1% on the cost of borrow anymore. I want my shares. And here's the biggest part. They don't even have to disclose and explain why they want their shares back. So if that happens, the shorts have to go in the market and buy those shares because if the lenders want his shares back, in order for you to sustain your positions, you still have to borrow some shares, all right? Otherwise, you have to buy if you can't find those shares. And guess what? Currently in AMC, <laughs> there is no share anymore, man. <laughs> There is no share available. I mean, they can tell you whatever they want to tell you on, you know, the, those are just estimates and they can try to manipulate the numbers because, I mean, look at the, 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 the um, estimate on the short interest down to 
<laughs> well, the, the, the price is down 20% from the 50s a couple of weeks ago. I mean, does that mean they covered? No, as a matter of fact, they, they doubled down because if they covered, it would have been the other, going the other direction. So, personally, I think these institutions, not all of them, some of them may be here for lending, some of those may be here you know, for the short squeeze, but the thing is, the more institutions we have, lending or not, those shares, will come a moment where the share price will start to be close to what will trigger margin calls, these institutions can pretty much and suddenly say, you know what, man, I want my shares back. And that will be exactly what will cause something that will cause the squeeze, something that may cause a panic domino effect in the short seller site. Like, I mean, why all of a sudden everybody's just pulling the shares of the market? We have to get and buy those shares. That's how you get margin calls. That's how you trigger a squeeze. That's how, you know, we can get exactly where DWC fund and CRTD were a couple of days ago, all right? So it doesn't matter how you see it. To me, it is still bullish. Fundamentally, technically, it is still bullish.